looking for the end result, to eat. But taking a closer <laughs> look at the science of cooking can make the entire process that much more fun. So that's exactly what we're doing today. We're doing it with Karen Rubin. She's the executive director at the Amelia Park Children's Museum. And we are going to do the science of Pop Rocks. Behind Pop Rocks, yes. <laughs> so Pop Rocks were invented by accident. General Foods was trying to actually make a carbonated beverage, something fizzy. And what they ended up with was sugar trapping carbon dioxide inside. And you were saying so, they made it by spinning sugar. Yes, heating it up very high temperatures and spinning. So the problem is, if you want to cook with Pop Rocks, you have to be really careful because when adding it to water, they just dissolve and fizz. You can actually oh. hear them fizzing. Yeah, I can hear it. You can hear them. It sounds almost like Rice Krispies. And it's not I much of an explosion snap, either. And pop. No. Because when it's in your mouth, that's when it really gets to be exactly pretty impressive. I'm gonna yeah, so the liquid and the saliva. Right yeah, now. go ahead, Seth. Try mm. that. Oh man, but if you want, this brings me back to when I was a kid. I can hear it popping. Oh. <laughs> I would play you, baseball and eat pop rocks all the time. But if you want to cook with it, mm. the one thing you want to add it to is a fat, because the fat will not dissolve the sugar keeping the carbon dioxide inside. So we add it to frosting. Oh. It'll crackle a little bit. So when you put it in your mouth, it gets that uh, sensation that Seth is really oh, enjoying yes. right now. I'm very much enjoying this. So if you add it to the fat, you can do things like Pop Rock cupcakes. And so it's not going to explode because it's not being exposed to saliva or water. Instead, it's being absorbed in the fat. Yes, it's being encased in the fat, protecting the carbon dioxide, which is what these are. Oh. So in other words, Pop Rocks are kind of hollow treats. And, and once they melt a little bit and the, the air bubble gets inside, that's kind of when they expand. Exactly. They explode, relieving, releasing the carbon dioxide because the carbon dioxide is what makes soda fizzy and seltzer fizzy. So, so um, it's the same principle, just encased in delicious, delicious sugar. Correct. <laughs> So, and if you want to, and it's going to be even more delicious encased in frost. <laughs> try one of these, you can, or you could try one of those. It's up to you. Well, Laura, try that oh. one. I'll try this one. So, so, so in other words, it's the the saliva that activates the pop rocks. Because right now we're yes. trying them on cupcakes, and because saliva is a liquid. Yep. <laughs> They're snap crackling all down my mouth. <laughs> Now, this would be a great party trick, oh, too. It it's is. like those expiring candles that keep going on and on. Or for the 4th of July, yes. that's coming up. Exactly. Oh, there true. it goes. It's popping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's for, fun. But for kids, too, not just kids, coming back when we do our second segment, Ooh. we'll show you how it's fun for adults, I, I too. Dropping my cupcakes. Well, Karen, thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to eat some of these cupcakes.